Hi guys, it's Amy and welcome to this week's edition of Juvia's Jumble. If you are new to my channel, Juvia's Jumble is a series that I do every week on my channel where I pick two Juvia's Place palettes randomly out of this jar and I have 12 Juvia's Place palettes in this jar and I pick them randomly and then I use them together to complete a look. So let's pick the palettes and get started. Okay, the palettes that have been picked this week are the Warrior One and the Saharan. I'm going to open these up real quick and then I'm going to show you guys what we have to work with. On my right and your left is the Warrior by Juvia's Place, the original Warrior palette. And then on my left, your right, is the Saharan palette by Juvia's. So let's see what we're going to do. Okay, so we're probably going to go for a very warm look. Obviously, these palettes have very warm colors in them. I'm going to do my best to not use my very favorite shade of all time from Dubious Place, which is with Dobby. I love that shade. I use it every time I use this palette. So I'm going to stay away from that shade. Um, and we're going to start with the Warrior palette. I think that I am going to take this shade right here. I don't know the exact name of it, so let me just figure what that is. And that is the shade um, uh, Kano. Sorry, my glasses, Kano. So it is um, one of the matte shades. There's three matte shades in the Warrior palette, and this is one of them, Kano, and I'm gonna use that as a transition shade. I'm going to grab my um, Alamar Cosmetics, sorry, my Alamar Cosmetics brush that I got in the BoxyCharm, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my transition area. I'm gonna grab my Handy Dandy Elf mirror. I switched mirrors. This mirror is just bigger. It's easier for me to see. This is one of those um, four pan compact mirrors. So it's nice and uh, big so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna lightly dust that. I'm not going to build it up too much because I don't know what I'm gonna do next. I'm probably going to go in with either the red or the orange matte from the Saharan palette. Um, because that really does complement this brown. Um, I'm trying to think what I'm going to do for my lid shade, but we will see. Right now, I think I'm going to use that deep brown in the, um, in the Warrior palette, probably on my outer corner. But we're going to definitely put something on the lid, and it will not be Wadabi. <laughs> no, I have to use a different shade. I love Wadabi, but I'm going to use a different shade. Just working on the other eye real quick. I don't know if you guys remember I'm having my giveaway. Uh, please enter that giveaway. Um, it is closing in the next few days, so I don't want you to miss um, your opportunity to enter that giveaway. If you didn't see my original giveaway video, I'm going to link it um, up in the cards as well as in the description box just so you know what I'm talking about and you know what the prize is. Basically, I'm going to be giving away Juvia's Place palettes. So if you want your chance to win Juvia's Place palettes, and um, you have a chance to win three of them, please do make sure that you go watch that video and comment. So I am almost done building this up and then I know what shade I'm gonna use next. Okay, next I'm gonna take my less fluffy wet model crease brush, I have two of these, and I'm gonna dip into the shade Sokoto, which is this red shade. This one's more orange, this one's more red. They're very similar, but this one's just a little bit lighter and has a little bit more red to it, whereas this one has a little bit more brown. So we're going to do Sokoto and um, that's another matte shade, and I'm going to place that in the crease. I love these brushes. Um, I have one that I really use for blending and one that I use more for placement blending um, versus actual like blending. Okay, so that's not bad, but it's not really showing up the way I want it to. It's just adding a little bit more dimension to the to the look. The red is coming through, but not as much as I would hope. Um, still beautiful shade so we're just going to keep working with it and um, it really does transform that shade you can see on this eye that you can see it there but it's not as much of a contrast as I would hope but that's okay I'm not mad at it um, and we're just going to continue to add if you're like me when you do your eyeshadow you can afford to be messy because um, I just clean up my um, under eye afterwards and then I add my eye cream um, thereafter and then I could just continue on with the rest of my makeup so it's really the reason why I do my eyeshadow first yes this looks very messy right now but it will all come together in the end it usually does as you can probably tell from other Juvia's jumbles that I've done in the past if you guys haven't seen some of those I will also link my playlist down below 
but we are almost done adding the red and then um, I'm gonna take a blank brush and then we're gonna do a little bit more blending to get those two colors looking exactly the way I want them. Okay, next I'm gonna take this little SL Miss Glam brush. You can't really get SL Miss Glam brushes singularly. You have to buy them in sets, which is unfortunate, but I don't think you can buy these brushes uh, as a single brush. This is my favorite blending brush of all time. So I'm just gonna take it, nothing, pro no product on it, and I'm just going to blend over the top and through the crease, just making sure all of that doesn't look too messy. Because yes, I know that it looks messy. Well, let's just try to make it look less messy. You know what I mean? Okay, next color. As per usual, I'm using my favorite little Lexi packing brush, you guys. I talk about this little packing brush all the time. You can't get it in the travel size, but I think you can get it in the regular size. So the next shade that I'm gonna go into is Mino, or Mino. I think it's Mino. And I'm going to load this up on my packing brush and I'm just going to start placing that in the outer corner. I like this brown, it's really nice and deep. It's exactly what I wanted last week's brown to be, but that one was just too warm and not deep enough. So we're just gonna take that and place it on the outer corner. Not really into the crease just yet, just pack it all the way up to the crease, but not going above it. Also drag it slightly in towards the middle of the lid before adding any more color onto the brush. Other eye, same drill, just adding, placing that color without tapping the brush. Don't tap your brush on these. Well, maybe tap it slightly and just place it on the outer third, slightly dragging it in as you get less color on the brush but I don't like to take this too far into the crease. I don't actually add more color when I add it into the crease. I just blend the edge of that dark shadow into the crease without adding extra product. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, it just depends. But let me just add a little bit more and I will get my next brush and I will blend this uh, brown into the crease a little bit. Okay, I don't usually use this brush, but this is a Sigma E36. This was not what I was expecting when I got an E36 from Sigma. It's a very small, itty bitty tiny brush, but I don't want tons of brown really going over that red just because it's going to take too much of that red out. I probably will blend more red over this brown just of the Sokoto shade just to make sure that it's still there because it does kind of get lost in the shuffle in this look. So we don't want that to happen because I do have some of that Sokoto on my lid, but that's gonna get covered over. And I'm going to uh, put a shimmer from the Saharan on my lid. So we just want to take that little itty bitty brush um, and really work it into the crease. This is a nice little brush if you just want a nice, um, very defined um, color in your crease. Uh, I don't use it very often because, I don't know, I just don't, <laughs> but that's okay. So I'm probably going to have to pack a little bit more brown on the end, um, on the edge, and then continue to build that color because I have lost a little bit of the intensity. I, well, maybe I haven't. It's still, it's still pretty deep. Still pretty deep. Okay, I've really lost the Sokoto, I feel, um, which really stinks. Maybe I should have made that my transition shade, but... Um, got to do two shades from each palette. That's just typically what I do. So let me add some more Sokoto on the Wet n Wild brush and try to add some of that red back into the look. Adding some more brown. I'm not adding any extra color. I'm just trying to take whatever color I have left on the brush and really just kind of really get that on that outer corner. Okay, that's a little bit better. Still messy, still messy, I know. So let me decide what I'm gonna do my, for my lid shade. I think I'm going to um, try to use one of the pinks in here. But I, a lot of these colors are very, very similar, um, but I'm not exactly sure. I use this one quite a bit, so maybe I should stay away from that one, but I can't use Wadabi. I could, but I'm not going to because I just use it way too often. Okay, lids are ready. I am going to be using my Sigma E56 brush, which is my lid brush, and I'm gonna go into the shade Fula, which is this pinky shade down here. I was going to use this one up here, but this one's a little bit too dark for my liking, 
Um, I prefer a wider shimmer on the lid, but this is still a little bit deep, but that's okay. We're going to use Fula. We want to add a little bit more color in addition to the red from the Sokoto. I hope you guys can see, still see the Sokoto. I can see it. Um, it did get a little overwhelmed by that brown, but that's okay. So we're just going to load up that E56 and spray it and put that on our lid. We're just going to give it a spritz. And I like to uh, pat it onto the lid first before I just kind of smooth it out. So I just dab it over and press it on to that actual um, glitter base. I love the NYX Glitter Glue. It really does help with these shimmers. I don't get a lot of fallout, but it just helps me keep it in place because um, Juvia's um, shimmers have a tendency to transfer. So I try to keep the shimmers mostly on the inner portion of my lid because on the outer portion of my lid, my um, crease, it's, it, it's semi-hooded. So I just try to keep my shimmers in the middle to the front. And that glitter base really helps them stay on my lid and not go up into my crease as much. It still does go up into my crease, which can't be helped entirely, but that's okay. So now I'm just going to tap gently next to the brown just to kind of um, mesh those two colors together and then I might add a little bit more brown as well um, on a set using a separate brush because I don't want to cover up the brown entirely not adding any extra shadow by the way in case you guys are wondering no extra shadow um, on that for that Fula shade I don't want to make the area in between the brown and the Fula the Mino and the Fula to be um, completely gone. So I want to just kind of dab those two together. Okay, so next I'm just going to take my Mina brush, which is my little Lexi brush, and I'm also going to tap over the center and keep going back and forth until I am satisfied with how that, that, how that looks. Maybe add a little bit more Fula going over it slightly just to make sure that they are blended. Okay, so I'm relatively happy with how this is looking right now. I'm going to clean up the edges of my eyeshadow with my concealer, do the rest of my makeup, and we'll come back and complete the look. Okay, guys, here's everything minus mascara, lower lash line, and lips. So we're going to do the lower lash line right now. So came together. Not my favorite look that I've ever done, but definitely not bad. I'm not mad at it. But we're going to do the lower lash line now, so we're going to take a flat definer brush. I'm just grabbing one from Lexi. I'm going to dip it in to Mino. Mino, Mino, gosh. They need to have a pronunciation guide with these. I don't know. Do you guys think so? Well, that would be nice because I hate butchering names. Um, I just think it's disrespectful. So um, let's just put that on a flat definer brush right up against the lower lash line. As usual, I only go about two-thirds of the way in, and make it a little thicker on the end, but then really just graze that lower lash line so that there's this very little color on the inner portion, just so it's not too stark. So just the other eye, and I think we're going to blend it out with Sokoto. I think I like it right here. I don't particularly care to make it match exactly on the bottom as it does on the top. I just don't like too much uh, makeup on my lower lash line. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to really smudge that brown out um, just to give it um, a little bit more punch. And then we will put on our mascara and pick a lippy. All right, guys, we're going all in today. I am going to choose a red lippy, and I am choosing the shade Matte Iconic from Milani. Don't know how it's going to look with this eyeshadow but you know what I don't really care I marched to the beat of my own drum so we're just gonna put that on right now and we will see how it looks in the end and uh, as usual cross your fingers but I think it's gonna look pretty good okay you guys here's the completed look what do you guys think I think it turned out pretty good yes the lip color is really bold but I really really like it and I hope you like it too if you guys like this edition of Juvia's Jumble please do be sure to give me a thumbs up that'd be awesome if you would and also, if you have not yet already, please consider subscribing. I try to make two to three videos every week, and I'd love to have you guys come back for more. So also make sure that you hit the notification bell so you know when I post future videos, okay? So that concludes this video, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.